Tanker Bayes, Fortress, Yard, Versus, Cyclone Ragnarok, Giga Never. Let the battle begin. This Bayway battle is basically Ken or Kensuke versus Ranzo. So yeah, this Bayway battle actually did happen in Bayway vs. Quad Strike, but I'm doing it under the Takara Tomi Dynamite Battle Beyblades. And I also have the accurate armors too, if you notice that they're both six armors like they should be. And now, let's start the battle. Three, two, one, go shoot! Okay, so this battle will be, um, it'll be nothing but a bunch of flashing, but I'll try and make this as even as possible. Like, yeah, I think Chain's gimmick actually makes up for, makes up for how, um, It'll basically just make up for how boring this battle could be. And Ragnarok wins that round with a spin finish. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! I mean, this is a defense versus stamina battle anyway, so... You can't really expect too much, but... Chinese gimmicks should... Yeah, should do stuff like that, where... All of a sudden, it, it just pushes the melee back. Oh, and that can happen too. I forgot about that. Ragnarok was that round with the spin finish. 3, 2, 1, no shoot! Yeah, the lower you are in the Dynamite Battle Arena, the, the bigger chance you have to scrape. But yeah, the gimmick of change just pushes back Beyblades a nice amount, and that can be a good thing, especially in this case. Let's see who wins. And that was close, but I want to say Ragnarok won. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! Oh no, I keep forgetting that, um, that Kirby is kind of dumb. Oh! Burst finish! D does that count? Either way, burst finish from Kirby. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! Okay, let, let's see if this kind of helps it a little bit. Because I think Ragnarok may be struggling. I mean, Ragnarok, uh, Cyclone Ragnarok is one of those Beyblades that barely burst, so, yeah. Like if it did burst because of it being jumped on, then that makes sense. Ragnarok wins that round with a spin finish. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! And by the way, I'm not doing, I'm not trying to launch the Beyblades on, on each other at all. I actually hate doing that, to be honest. And I may someday have to, um, I might have to someday switch, switch Kerbeus from regular yard to yard metal and see what happens. And Ragnarok wins that round with a spam finish. 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, go oh, shoot! Okay. Oh, KO! Kerbeus wins that round with over finish. 3, 2, 1, go oh, shoot! Okay. Yeah, we're already at four minutes, but this doesn't really feel that long. Like all the rounds have just been kind of short with um, with burst finishes happening and so much clashing just kind of drains the stamina. Ragnarok wins that round with the spin finish. Three, two, one, go shoot! Yeah, I tried to tilt launch it so that like, Kerbeus can actually, um, so that Kerbeus doesn't jump. By the way, I'm actually surprised by how both of the Beyblades are just fighting in the center. Okay, let's see who wins. Rock Rock's lo not looking too good, and Kerbeus wins with spam finish. And now I'm going to switch arenas. Okay, now we're in the Santa Stadium. Three, two, one, go shoot! The, the what? Three, two, one, go shoot! I really hope that doesn't happen again because I have no idea what happened there. 
Like I know that Beyblades can sometimes just scrape their ring and then lose that way, but still. I know that a lot of people hate Dynamite Battle Competitive, but yeah, that's something I have to kind of keep in mind is that if your Beyblade is a little bit too low to the ground, you can just scrape it and lose. And Red Rock, when's that round? Spin finish. Three, two, one, go shoot. Okay, chain. Yeah, overall, this battle isn't really that. It's not really too boring. I mean, I know that it's a bunch of clashing, but overall, it's just. It's not as boring as it could be, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, sometimes that happens where, um. They randomly see. Yeah, you randomly see stuff like that happen. Then that makes it less boring. Kerbeus wins that round with the over finish. Three, two, one, go shoot! Yeah, um... I think Ragnarok's stamina is just one of those things that can't really be beat too easy. But I like that we finally got a showcase of the gimmick. Where Kerbeus is supposed to basically just just throw throw its opponent off balance. Well not really off balance, but it's supposed to just throw its opponent to the side. And Ragnarok wins that round with the spin finish. See what happens if I launch it first. Well I got my answer and I don't like it. Three, two, one, go shoot. No, let's see what happens, because, yeah, let's just see what happens. Surprisingly enough, this is not like the anime too much. Because the anime made it way more interesting. And plus, I think in the anime... Okay, Ragnarok was that round with a spin finish. Three, two, one, go shoot! I was trying to say that in the anime, her base is actually sitting higher, so... It was sitting higher and it didn't have the chain gimmick, so... It couldn't really just throw Beyblade to the side with the chain gimmick. But now that I realize it, it seems like sometimes chain her base is actually off balance while, um... While Ragnarok is hitting it so much, so... That's probably why it keeps on losing. Ragnarok wins that round with a spin finish. Three, two, one, go shoot! Okay, I, I guess in the next round I'll try to tilt launch a little bit more to see how that changes anything. But yeah, overall it just seems like... It seems like Kerbeus doesn't really hit... Doesn't really hit or activate his gimmick too much. I mean, the gimmick probably is working, but it's probably just working against it, is what I'm trying to say. And Ragnarok wins that round with the spin finish. Three, two, one, go shoot! Okay! Oh! Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. It's like the gimmick just works against it when it comes to Ragnarok. And Ragnarok wins that round with the over finish. Yeah, if the anime was like that, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Ken would be embarrassed. It wants to support the channel. You can go to Mall Toys. There's a link in the description, and when we click the link and buy it through the link, you'll actually support the channel in the process. You can also support the channel by using my discount codes, which are the legendary R, saves you five percent off on Mall Toys and seven percent off on Bays and Bricks. And if you want to support me in a non-financial way, you can watch my videos more. Subscribe, like, and comment. All those things help a lot. So, thank you for your support. I'll tell you the winner right now. Your winner is... Cyclone Ragnarok. Giga Never. So, like if you want, share if you want, and subscribe to become a legend in the making. See you next time, bye. And we are proven to be legendary. Stay legendary.